Hey, Mrs. Gleason here. I'm going to show you how to create a graph using Create a Graph by KidZone. And I've already chosen the bar graph here, um, and the direction that I want it to go was vertical. I could choose the grid color, the background color. I could change that around if I wanted to. And then the most important is entering the data. So I'm going to click Data, and I've already put this in for the sake of time. So on the title, I put favorite foods, the x-axis, I put grade level, the y-axis is the types of foods. The source would be if you collect the data, where you collected the data from. I ended up adding some data sets here, so I did four items in four groups. So I have four grades and then four different choices that the students chose from. I could go over here and customize the colors again. And then if I wanted to set a minimum value, that just helps set up the graph. So I'm just going to put 0 for the minimum. And then for the max, I'll put 20. It's best to do e even numbers to make it um, look good. But you can play around with that and see how it goes. You can also go to Labels. And you can change the different styles of the labels. And then you want to click on Preview and then it will show you what the graph looks like and if you don't like how it looks you could go back to design like I don't like that dark blue color so I'm gonna choose a lighter color and then I'm gonna go back to preview and then oh yeah that looks much better so my pizza's in the light blue my purples and the mac and cheese and then the nuggets are an orangey color and then the red is the burgers and then by this graph, I can tell what kindergarten likes the most, uh, first grade. So this is a great way to create these graphs of any type. And then when you cl click Print Save, then you can download it. And you can do this from an iPad exactly the same way that I just did on the computer. It's just to use the touch screen, but it all works exactly the same. So I'm going to click Download. And then you can download it as a PDF, JPEG, you know, some of these things that you might know. I'm going to stay with, um, I'm going to switch to a JPEG. And then I'm going to click download. And then here it is right here. And then once you have it as a JPEG or if you chose a PDF, depending on what you're going to use it, which application you can use it in, then you can use it in like EduCreations or Splice or you can use it on your laptop. Uh, you can annotate over it. You can, if you're using EduCreations, you could just talk about it or have the students talk about it. So it's a great way for students to share their graph with others.